Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Got a little Andy Griffin show. I believe it's called uh, Whistling for Fish. I don't know. But it was in my head. Brings uh, good thoughts. Brings back good memories. Nicole! La, 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 la. How are you? How's life treating you? Thank you, Dakota. Thank you, Dakota. Thank you, Nick. How are you doing today? Let's see how I look in camera. Doing a different position, so I'm showing off more of the uh, beautiful locations we have. Oh, good, you got all moved. It's good to hear. Good to hear. Everything went all right then? You did okay? Everything made it one piece? That's the thing I hate about moving is, um, in my case, we were in such a rush to move our house, we didn't label anything, so I'm missing, like, Godzilla figures and stuff for my mini case, so I'm like, where are they? My daughter's missing her Pokemon cards. I mean, ugh, I hate moving. Hate it. Um, it sucks, so hopefully uh, I'll never have to do it again. I don't know. Who's this corny guy I keep hearing about? Everyone's talking about corny. So uh, even Lady Death Universe is talking about it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear about the loss. You know, even if pets are very important family members, whether it be dogs, cats. In my case, I got cats and turtles. <laughs> so if I was to lose one of them, I'd be really hurt. So I, I, my condolences to you and your family uh, over your puppy. Um, it's always it's always a big loss. Uh, people who aren't pet owners don't realize, you know, that, that's a big chunk of your family. They, they, they are integrated in it. Um, so yeah, my condolences. You're, you're very welcome. You are so very welcome. You don't even need to thank me. Um, just common courtesy. Uh, anybody, uh, else in the show? Let's go ahead and make yourself known. Jimmy is here to answer any questions you guys may have. Uh, I got some fun stuff for you guys today. Uh, I also, uh, want to talk about, how about that Kickstarter? We got two more days. Friday, we close our Kickstarter, and it has been an adventure. It has been, uh, it's taken our breath away uh, here at HQ. We, we are uh, very humbled, and, and thank you, everyone, for uh, supporting us. Thank you for backing um, Coffin Comics uh, and our stories. Uh, we all got fans that uh, love all our characters. Oh, God, yeah. I, it'll be interesting to see how it closes. I, I, I'm really looking forward to it. This is always the part of the show that it, it's a total celebration. Um, we celebrate, uh, hey, we've gotten through this, and then we start uh, celebrating because we got a whole lot of work ahead of us. So that's what we here, do here at HQ. We uh, bust our butts and get on to the next one. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Robert Bradford, how are you today? Thank you for joining me today. Everyone else who's joined me, it's Wednesday. Thank you for joining me here on the Swarm Nation, a little show we call The Catacombs. Uh, if you're not aware, we do have a show on Mondays, and those are called The CCSN, and you can find those live on our YouTube channel. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like the content, and put the little notification bell if you want to be notified whenever we're uh, uploading content or going live. So that's for our YouTube channel, Coffin TV. So come on and subscribe and share the fun with us. Um, who else do we got here? Gomez Gay, yeah, Jay Taylor, how are you? Great to, thank you for joining us. Um, I, while I'm, uh, on the subject of Kickstarters, can you believe five weeks, just, we have one wrap it up in two days, and then we start in five weeks on the next, uh, La Muerta Primeval. Really looking forward to it. Uh, it is a tie-in with our World War Death event we have going on this year here at Coffin Comics. Uh, one thing about um, us and our Kickstarter is we like to have something called the value proposition. Uh, hopefully this isn't flaring too much. Let me see how it looks. There's a five second delay on what I see and what uh, you all see. So I'm trying to see how this looks. Uh, so give me one quick second while I get caught up here. Eric, you beautiful man. How are you? So good to see all you wonderful people. Thank you for sharing your afternoon with me. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, the Coffin Comics... Kickstarter value proposition consists of the following. Each physical reward includes free, all unlock free bonus items. One bonus item per backer. Now, we are already past 40 items. 40 items. This is crazy. 
We got a, a, a like a, a Visa, uh, credit card shaped uh, bam, bottle opener. I was so happy we did that because I want a Coffin Comics bo bottle opener carried with me everywhere I need for when those occasions that, you know, someone throws me a beer and it's like, fudge. Back in the days, I used to use my teeth and then I lost half a tooth doing that. Not a good idea, guys, to impress the ladies with opening up uh, beer bottles with your teeth. You may think it's impressive. They think you're stupid. All right. So, we have so many bonus items. It's busted at the seams. Um, I, I'm really curious to see how uh, we can keep going with this, but we keep on doing it. Also, free U.S. shipping. That's right. You heard it here. You live in the continental United States. Well, you get free shipping. So that's a great opportunity to load up on some of those wonderful additions because you don't have to pay for the shipping. What a great opportunity to load up and get some of those goodies. Metal editions, jeweled editions, so much. Also, you get a free digital download. You don't like to touch your books. You like to make sure they're all kept nice, pretty, and perfect. Put them in your collector box or on your shelf, wherever you prefer to do it. That's fine. We totally support that. That's why we give you a free digital download of your comic book. You can go ahead and watch it on your phone. Read it on your, watch it, read it on a tablet, PC, anywhere you want to take it with you, you can enjoy it without damaging your beautiful books in your collection. Also, another thing we like to consider part of our value proposition is we are including two free comic books. That's right. We are having Lady Death Masters, Richard Ortiz. That's right. We have a new Masters edition dedicated to Richard Ortiz. This is dipped in free to all physical reward uh, backers. So check it out. This is going to be free added to your comic. If you ordered one comic, look, you're going to get two more. This is just one. The next one is boom. Look at this. Lady Death, Necrotic Genesis. This is the black and white edition. What is Lady Virtue doing to our diva of death? You're going to find out. That's right. We still have Friday to close on this. Why is my phone doing weird things? Okay. Yeah. Who's corny? Who's corny? Anyways, this is the second book. That's right. Two books will be tipped into all physical rewards. And then on top of that, you got your free bonus items. Over 40 of them. Stickers, buttons, whatever we can cram in there, we do it. And it's a lot of fun. It's great to see you guys posting that. Speaking of posting... Thank you, everybody, for showing off all the cool stuff you got for the Hell Witch versus Lady Death Wargasm items. Uh, it's great to see uh, everyone open up their package and sew in some of those beautiful goodies. And I like seeing all the surprises for the people that just got their additions tipped in. If you don't know what I'm talking about, part of the Coffin Comics value proposition is this. We create very limited edition, normally about 15 serial numbered editions. What we do is we take 10 of those and we tip them across all physical rewards. For Necrotic Genesis, we got five of them right now. We've got the Ultimate Edition, Scarlet Metal, Black Metal. We have the Violet Metal and uh, I forgot, is that Blacker Metal? I, I, Jiminy Cricket, I forgot the last one, Violet. Anyways, Golden Metal by Don McTeague. Absolutely gorgeous. We're just tipping in 10 of each of those. That's 50 very rare editions we're sprinkling across all physical reward members. That is considered part of the Coffin Comics proposition. We love to share in all these beautiful editions we have for you. So join us. We've got two days. Two days, everybody. Still got two days left of this Kickstarter. It is a record for us. Now, I hear that if Brian ever hits uh, 666K, for a Kickstarter, he would eat a corn dog. Now, I've heard this from him. I've seen the video. I hear there's a big corn dog running around that was frozen in 1964, got defrosted, and he's running around like a madman in here. So, um, I haven't met him yet, but uh, when I do, uh, I'm sure I'm going to be shocked and mortified, just like the video I've seen of Brandy. Uh, so anyways, uh, it's pretty interesting uh, that we've done this. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Also, moving on to something a little more uh, serious in tone, uh, we are still, till April 11th, taking orders for Lady Death Solidarity Edition. This is the mock-up of the Virgin Art Edition. 
is for a good humanitarian cause. We're here to help raise money so we can feed those people in Ukraine that uh, desperately need some food, and um, you know we're here to help provide them. Um, Monty Moore is the artist. This is the Virgin Art Edition. It'll run you thirty dollars. There is a uh, text version that has Lady Death. Uh, on it that will run you $25 now we're keeping these editions live until April 11th at 5 p.m. Arizona time here's some of the other beautiful editions this is the hollow foil edition let me see how this looks okay pretty good this is the hollow foil edition this will run you $80 all proceeds will go to humanitarian needs in Ukraine Jimmy can you, thank you uh, Jimmy for the uh, posting of it and we also have a very beautiful metal edition. This will run you $100. Again, this will be limited to the orders totaled on April 11th at 5 p.m. So we still got some time uh, to raise that money. Thank you everyone that has uh, ordered the Solidarity editions. And uh, you know, if some of you are like, you know, I wanna help out, but that's, uh, you know, some of these editions, you know, it's getting close to Easter, or, you know, whatnot. Well, you know, we also have metallic card editions. These will only run you $12, and they would be limited to the numbers of orders received by April 11th at 5 p.m. So, there you go, $12 to help you out. Also, there's an 11 by 17 print available as well, uh, and that will run you $16. And again, we will be uh, keeping these uh, editions open for orders received by April 11th. So come on in, uh, join, the, join in this uh, humanitarian cause that uh, we and some other beautiful partners are, are working on to help uh, folks in need in Ukraine. Let's get some food in their bellies. Uh, thank you, Jimmy, for posting the links. Thank you, Nicole. It, it's really cool. Um, now let's see what else I have. Okay, so we had the uh, Tattoo You edition, and there are still a couple left. Prints are no longer available. However, there is still the inked metallic card edition. I don't know if you can see it this far away, but this is the inked metallic card edition. Uh, Nathan Zerdi is the artist. Uh, if I recall, we only did uh, 99 of these, 69. Uh, Jane, if you can put up the link for folks. Uh, there's only a few of these left. Pick them up now, $12. Also, for metallic cards, all you collectors out there, this is the rookie card edition. It is done by Diego Bernard, and there is 250 of these, serial numbered. Uh, also, still editions available. They are slowly flying out. We also still have... Found another programmer. Oh, thank you, Amy. Thank you. It'd be great to see. All right, here we got Lady Death Sacrificial Annihilation. Lady Death Rookie Card Edition. $25, 150 serial numbered copies, limit two per customer per household. There is a very few copies amount available. Go ahead and scoop them up. Yum, yum. Come get some. Speaking of yum, yum, it's not lunchtime. I'm feeling hungry. Next up, there's still some editions left of the Lady Death Extinction Express Flash Edition. David Harrigan is the artist. It'll run you $25, limited to 150 serial numbered copies. Limit two copies per customer per household. Come skip, scoop them up while you can. Well, we still have these few copies left. We still have a few copies left of La Muerta Last Rites Flash. Again, David Harrigan really taking it to a whole new level. This will run you um, $25. There is a limited serial number of 100 copies. And this product is limited to one copy per customer her household and last definitely not least we still have available a very few amount of hell witch the forsaken risque oh that looks terrible okay risque flash edition this is thirty dollars again david harrigan is the artist 125 serial number copies limit two copies per customer per household and very popular item on the store and there is less than ten that's right, there is still very limited amounts of the Pony Death Collector Box. That's right, if you missed out on last week, you're like, oh, it's totally going to sold out. Well, it's almost out. You still have about a few copies left. A few of these are left. So go ahead and scoop it up. 
before they are gone because you know our, a lot of our uh, collector boxes go very fast. So thank you everybody for listening to me rattle on about those items, but those are some of the items that are available right now at the Coffin Comic Shop and also stuff that we still have going on at Kickstarter. So definitely check out those two links. Uh, I'm sure Jimmy will put those links. If you haven't joined Kickstarter, it's very easy to do. And not only that, join in the fun. We always like to um, welcome uh, new readers, new collectors to here at Coffin Comics. And Kickstarters have been a very good way of interest, introducing us to the world. And thank you, everybody, for being a part of that. All right, so next up, let's see what we got in the catacombs for y'all. Uh, I gotta go ahead and get some lunch in me, and then I'm gonna be helping out uh, get those uh, orgasm orders pulled for y'all so we can get out to you in time. All right, so I'm gonna start things off. I got a little special trifecta, trifecta. I have for you a Captain Death three item set. It consists of not only 11 by 17, signed by Brian Polito, not only does it include the uh, Lady Death Scorched Earth Homage Edition, also signed by Brian Polito. You will also receive in this three-box set the Metallic Card, signed by Brian Polito. I have five of these available. Five sets, five sets. They're available now. All right. Thought I'd do a little something fun with those. Next up, here's some wonderful items I have for you. Uh, straight from the vault, I have one available. This is Lady Death Merciless Onslaught Chase Edition Blue. Chase Edition Blue. Where is my little standy? I moved it to a side to show you guys all these beautiful editions. Excuse me, but I readjust. I have readjusted. All right, next up, I have two available of these beautiful editions. Again, this is Lady Death Merciless Onslaught Chase Edition Green. Two are available. One blue, two green. Yum, yum, come get some. Now, next up, Dakota found these great editions. Uh, print grab bags, there should be a few left on the store. Uh, if not, then we'll definitely, uh, when we have the time available, uh, Nicole, we'll see about making up some more of those. All right. I'm glad you like those. I'm really glad. Uh, if you guys are wondering what Nicole's mentioning, in the past I have done grab bags where basically I get five prints uh, randomly, La Muerta, Hell Witch, Lady Death, Zach, the whole nine yards. They're all random for $30. And um, it's a really great value. Basically, you're just paying $6 per print. You don't know what you get. You might get a signed edition. You might not get a signed edition. Who knows? Uh, but if I am all sold out of that, um, I will definitely see about getting some more. So I'm glad uh, everyone's really enjoying those. So it's kind of like buying a giant pack of cards for $30, but they're all 11 by 17 prints with just random uh, prints thrown together. Uh, I will have to say sometimes if you buy multiples, duplications can occur because there's a lot of prints, a lot of them. But remember, there's also a lot of really cool variations on color. All right, what else do we got? I hope you can find them, Nicole. I know we uh, we had put a few up on, um, I want to say a couple weeks ago. I don't know how many are left. Look at that. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you, Nicole. I, I'm glad uh, I was able to pull good amounts. Uh, also, thank you for Tanner for helping me out uh, make those uh, for you all. So, good. I'm glad uh, there was very, very few doubles. That's that's a relief. Uh, okay, next up. These are the last three copies I have of Lady Death, Cataclysmic Majesty, Submission. Yes, Howard Chaykin is the cover artist. Um, I'm a big fan of Howard Chaykin. He did a run on The Shadow uh, for uh, DC Comics in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, maybe mid 80s. And I absolutely loved it. Um, his art style really fit with the uh, grittiness of the Shadow Comics that DC was putting out. And because of him, I really became a fan of that character. And the movie just made me want to seek out more about The Shadow. So... Um, cool. Thank you, uh, Howard Chaykin, for contributing this work uh, for the Cataclysmic Majesty Kickstarter. These are the last three copies presented to you today. Um, oh, good. Yay, there's still some available. All right, next up. Three. These are the last three. 
This is Lady Death, Damnation, Spring Equinox Edition. Sora Song has created a beautiful song with this image. Absolutely stunning, breathtaking. Look at it. Be hypnotized of it. These are the last three copies for you. That's right. Come get them. They ain't gonna be around for long. Okay, so Nicole got two print bundles. Yay! I'm glad they were there. All right. Next up, I got an artist proof for you. This is an AP4. This is Lady Death Visions Leatherette Edition, and this is the AP4. Boom! Classic one right there. Let me tilt that the other way. See how that looks when I catch up to myself. I hate having the whole delay. I do. All right, next up. Ooh, whoa, must be some metals in here. Classic Chaos Era. Boom. This is Detonator. This is the premium edition. This is all hollow foil. Classic Chaos Comics Era book published by the one and only Brian Polito. And I've got a few copies of the remainder of Lady Death Gallery Return of Lady Slave, Naughty Metallic Edition. These are the last, I think these are the last seven copies I have for you right now. And I also have some scratch and dent for everyone who loves the scratch and dent deals. Well, I've got some more for you. I've just uploaded La Muerta Onslaught Mega Hollow Foil Edition. These scratch and dents are available now in the catacombs. If you're looking for other great deals uh, here at the Coffin Comic Shop, Go ahead and click on Scratch and Dent, and there is additions available for you there at a really great uh, low-value cost. Uh, if you are looking for something, not sure you want to dip your toe too much of this, well, it's a great value if you want to sample some of our books, too. All right, next up, I have another Scratch and Dent. This is Lady Death, Cataclysmic Majesty Mega Foil Scratch and Dent Editions. These are available right now, all for you. And that is everything. Oh, wait, hey, look at that. Thank you. Wow, Jimmy is just so fast at that. Thank you, Lady Death Universe. All right, everybody, that's everything I got for you today. Um, I will see you guys on Monday, and I hope everyone has a really great weekend. Uh, there's a lot of things going on here at Cop and Comics. You'll probably see me and Jimmy on Friday giving you a little uh, product spotlight, uh, kind of show you some of the cool things we have on the store that uh, sometimes get forgotten because we always put out beautiful books almost weekly. Anyways, uh, I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys Monday on our YouTube channel, Coffin TV, 3 p.m. Arizona time. I'm sworn to you guys, and I am out. Ah! <laughs> I got to walk around and turn off my camera. <laughs> Hey, I did it without tripping. Bye, everybody. <laughs>